Hi folks, Bob Collins for Edge Hog. You know, I wanted to do a short video about some new products that we have in the Edge Hog line. And these products are, are pretty darn important. They're more safety related than anything. I get a lot of folks that take a look at the products that are in our consumer guide. Now, I'm gonna put a link down below in the description for the Edge Hog Consumer Guide. It's attached to our website. And people say they're really surprised at the number of products that we have. Of course, hogs always been known for regulators and uh, BCs, things along those lines. But we're much, much more than that. So we're gonna take a look at these items. I think you'll be really pleased. Oh, hello, Papagena. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is some simplistic things that are very inexpensive that you should be adding to your dive gear as a norm. A lot of times people will uh, they'll buy complete uh, BCs, regulator sets, uh, wetsuits, everything, a bag, but they forget those little simplistic items that make your dive gear complete. And one of those is very simple, and it is a octo holder. Now, many times in training, what we see is people will take that yellow hose octo and they'll bend the hose and they'll jam it up in a D-ring. Now, that's not exactly the best thing to do uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it falls out and then it's dragging along. It gets caught on stuff, it, it gets beat up. Plus, if you were to ever need it, now you're trying to find it. If it's folded up and stuck up underneath that D-ring, then it can, you grab it and you pull it straight forward, it gets stuck in the D-ring and it can be difficult to uh, deploy. Something simple as a octa holder, now what happens is this has got a little, a little slot cut in it or formed in it like you see here. And then all you do is fold itself, put it up on the, one of the D-rings in your triangle and fold it back on itself. And then you've got this little square in this particular holder. And these are, again, these are very, very inexpensive. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stretch this out and put this over the mouthpiece of the octo. So then it's attached here here so that when you need to deploy you just put your hand on the octo the hose and you pull it away from your body not forward but away from your body and the mouthpiece slips out of this little holder and you're able to deploy it very 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 inexpensive something a little step up the line is this one this one has a clip on and it also has an opening for you to put around the mouthpiece of the octo. This is much thicker, much sturdier, and many times people will put this on their octo and then clip this on their BC. When they're done with their dive, they will unclip it from the BC and actually leave this octo holder on the octo. Whereas other times, People will take this, they'll just leave this on the BC and take the octo out of it. So, you know, a couple of different ways to do it. This one's a, a lot sturdier and uh, costs a little bit more, but it's a lot sturdier and will last a lot longer. Our next one is one that a lot of times people say they've never seen before. And it is uh, a magnetic octo holder. And these are pretty cool. And they've got quite a strong magnet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bend over here and get this close to my mic so you can hear how strong that is. It's got pretty, pretty good strength to that magnet. Now, what you'll need to do is just remember there's a little bit of maintenance with this. so. You know, make sure you pull this apart and rinse this magnet on both sides. Put a little dash of uh, like Vaseline or 
uh, crystal lube or something in here every once in a while to keep this from rusting. And of course, there's a hole in it right here, and that hole goes on the hose of the Octo, and then the clip part clips on to your BC. Pretty simple and easy. And of course, these through Edge Hog are probably half the price of some of the other ones that you're gonna see out there from other companies, but they're virtually the same thing. So we've got these in yellow, we've got them in black, and we've got them in blue. Now these are not meant to hold your, your gauge, especially if you've got a compass on it. And if you're using a compass and this is on your body, remember we don't pull the compass in here next to our body because this will affect the compass. When we swim with a compass, we're in this position, all right? And this is well away from your body and really, if you're in the proper position, it won't. But if you're trying to shoot a heading and you've got it close to the magnet, it will affect it, of course. Just have to be a little smarter than the octo holder, that's all. One of the other things that is real popular, they're extremely important, and you should be carrying one every time you dive, especially in the ocean or you're in maybe a lake or something, that sort of thing, where there's boat traffic or or whatever, you want to make sure you've got a surface marker buoy. And if you've never used one of these, then you should get one and you should practice blowing it up, deploying it at your basic safety stop depth. You could do it in a, easily in the 10 foot pool to become accustomed because remember, as you blow this up, you're gonna become more positively buoyant and you're gonna to need to control that. Now, these come, this is a 36 inch size, and we've also got a 45 inch size, and we've got a 72 inch size, and these come in uh, both yellow, high-vis yellow, and orange, and now we've introduced a dual color uh, SMB that comes in 36, 45, and 72 inch. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things. So these have a glow stick holder on them, and they have a light reflector panel that you see right here, and the light refle reflector panel's on both sides. These have a uh, ring that you can attach a clip to, and I'm gonna show you a finger spool in just a second, a clip to, and then you can blow it up using your mouth or you can use your inflator to blow this up. It only takes three or four breaths to blow this up, so it's not very much. And then you've got a dump right here that's easy to pull. And of course, as you go up, these are going to expand and the air can somewhat escape out of here. So again, this is the Edge Hog Dual Color SMB and this comes in both 36, 45, and 72. And uh, these uh, are attached normally. We utilize what's known as a finger reel. And these finger reels come with a double-headed clip, and this happens to be a 66-footer. Now, if you're at your safety stop at 15 feet, this is plenty of spool and you're just going to attach this to your SMB and go to your safety stop while you're at your safety stop. You're listening for boats, of course. You deploy and blow up your SMB, let it go up to mark your location, and then you follow the line up. And of course, as you get to the surface, you okay the boat in the distance and they see you. Now, if they don't see you, keep it up, all right? and wave it whatever you need to do. Now, Edge Hog in the Hog line, we actually have a Hog Pocket. I'll put a, uh, a link to that video up here, and you can take a look at the Hog Pockets. The Hog Pockets will actually hold the SMB and a finger reel, and you can mount that on your, your total buoyancy control package or your Pro or whatever it happens to be. So that's a little look at some of the new 
uh, safety related items that Edge Hog has available for you. Like I said, take a look at the consumer guide. Uh, you may be surprised at everything that's available from Edge Hog these days. I hear that again from many of the new pros and dealers that uh, uh, associate and uh, now sell our products. So in conclusion, uh, always be safe out there. Think about your safety. Think about the what ifs and be prepared. Again, I'm Bob Collins for Edge Hog. See you next time. Thanks for watching.